First of all, I'm very happy that it's finally over with, done with, and uh, uh, I'm, I still believe that I never committed any crime. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased the US government decided to drop the case against me, and uh, it really is a pity that the UK government didn't try and resolve this without us having to come all the way over. Uh, I just look forward to getting back to university, really, and seeing all my friends. And uh, a big, a big thanks to everyone supporting me, really. And how has it been for the last two years with this sort of hanging over your head? It's been quite stressful, to say the least. Like uh, it puts you off your work a little bit at university, but I tried to um, keep up state of all my work and things, stay focused. And it probably, university probably helped me staying sane during the time. And how frustrating that um, the government back home didn't step in earlier and just say, no, he's going nowhere. It is quite frustrating that they don't really <laughs> put the foot down at all with the extradition uh, proceedings. And uh, I just think maybe they could have done this in the first place. And could you just describe what actually happened in court? It was a very swift procedure, wasn't it? Yeah, basically we went in, the, uh, the judge ran out the terms of the deferred prosecution and uh, agreed to them and then that was that. And uh, what, do you, what are you going to do now? You're in New York, you're leaving tomorrow, what are you up to tonight? Uh, probably a little celebration tonight and then just uh, on the plane home tomorrow. We're really pleased to be here and to have been able to sort this matter out without um, needing for Richard to be subjected to extradition and incarceration and criminalisation. <laughs> Um, it's just a pity that um, the British authorities um, couldn't have allowed us to sort this out in the UK in a similar manner. Um, but, you know, it's great. End of quite a bad 18 months to two years, been quite stressful and quite destructive to life, really. You know, messes up your finances, messes up your relationships and causes stress. Etc. That doesn't feel very nice that your own government gives you no support. We've had tremendous support from the public, from the press, from our legal team, um, other victims. Um, I don't want to forget anybody, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to mention everybody today. We've had a lot of support from some good MPs also fighting for extradition reform. But the Home Office, the CPS, the politician, politicians, no support at all.